குறிஞ்சி சீனியர் செகண்டரி ஸ்கூல் சிபிஎஸ்இ நாமக்கல் சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் ரிசல்ட் ப்ரொடியூசிங் ஸ்கூல் இன் ஸ்டேட் எவ்ரி இயர் அட்மினிஸ்டர்ட் பை த போர்ட் ஆஃப் டிரெக்டர்ஸ் வித் ஓவர் 35 இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் இன் தி டீச்சிங் ஃபீல்ட் ஸ்பெஷல் அட்டென்ஷன் ஆன் ஆர்ட் கிராஃப்ட் மியூசிக் டான்ஸ் சிலம்பம் யோகா ஸ்கேட்டிங் அண்ட் கராத்தே ஃபோக்கஸ் ஆன் ஹிந்தி சபா அண்ட் ஸ்பெல் பி ஒலிம்பியாட் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் ஸ்மார்ட் கிளாஸ் ஃபார் எஃபெக்டிவ் அண்ட் இனோவேட்டிவ் லேர்னிங் அண்ட் வெல் ஃபர்னிஷ்ட் லைப்ரரி சாலிட்டரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் ஆன் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் கேம்ஸ் இன் ஸ்டேட் அண்ட் நேஷனல் லெவல் வாட்ஸ் அப் facilities to know activities of students and school inside the campus neat jee iit coaching experts from rajasthan and andhra pradesh along with our effective teachers admission registration for classes lkg2 plus 2 kurunji educational institution kaveti patti namakkal admission in progress cbse kg2 12th contact 9025895176 metric 6212th contact 9344567484 for online admission log on to www.kurunjischoolnkl.in in continuation to the last class in this class we start with the radioactive disintegration okay in our last class we discussed in our previous class we discussed what is radioactivity right and what are the important points regarding the radioactivity after that what about alpha beta gamma decay right so in our previous class initially one point one important point regarding the nuclear fusion that is what uh, requirements for nuclear fusion and possibilities of nuclear fusion reaction we discussed after that what is radioactivity right and what are the important points regarding the radioactivity thereafter what is alpha beta gamma decay this we discussed now in this class we start with uh, radioactive disintegration as i told already radioactivity is a phenomena right radioactivity is a natural phenomena right phenomena phenomena of spontaneous emission of radiations okay radioactivity is the phenomenon of spontaneous emission of radiations by heavy elements by heavy elements okay so these elements the elements which shows this radioactivity phenomena are called radioactive elements radioactive elements for example radium uranium thorium plutonium sorry polonium nef- neptunium right not only this what i am saying there are many but for example i told you five radioactive elements or radioactive substances so why i am saying all these things means why i am recalling all these things means you know before going to discuss this uh, radioactive disintegration we have to keep in mind what is radioactivity so as simple as such for our imagination if you take out suppose for example uranium uranium uh, ore is present inside the earth because uranium is also a radioactive element very good radioactive element we just take the uranium and you just put on the table or otherwise you just take it out under the surface of it what happens right it releases energy in the form of radiation continuously so after certain time after over a period of time what can we observe you know the mass of the the mass of the radioactive substance is going to decrease is going to decrease so that is what we can say that disintegration that is what we can say that disintegration but because of the substance which is radioactive substance we are calling it as radioactive disintegration radioactive disintegration so based on the observation based on the continuous observations by many scientists okay so the we we derived some relations we derived relations between our uh, sum of uh, among the sum of the quantities that's what we are going to discuss now so the first one is called as 
right i am saying loss of radioactive disintegration loss of radioactive disintegration okay see here at any instant see here ma at any instant the rate of decay of radioactive atoms at any instant the rate of decay of radioactive atoms is proportional to is proportional to the number of atoms present at that instant okay at any instant the rate of decay of radioactive atoms is proportional to the number of atoms present at that instant so when when we are going to see this information that is what these two lines of information you please keep in mind when the time is equal to zero at the time is zero see how many number of atoms are present so atom is very small so for example 1000 are there 10000 are there 1 lakh are there 1 crore are there so how many number of atoms are present when when the time is zero as time passes as time passes we have to see this that is what he is saying at any instant at any instant the rate of decay of radioactive atoms the rate of decay of radioactive atoms is proportional to the is proportional to the number of atoms present at that instant number of atoms present at that instant so this statement mathematically you can write it as dn by dt is directly proportional to capital n dn by dt is directly proportional to capital n so if you remove the proportional symbol you can write it as dn by dt is equal to minus lambda into n minus lambda into n but it is capital n ma it can be proved that mathematically it can be proved that n is equal to n not into e to the power of minus lambda t n is equal to n not into e to the power of minus lambda t here n is the number of atoms remains undecayed after time small t but n not is the number of atoms present initially n not is the number of atoms present initially that is at t is equal to 0 that is at t is equal to 0 okay so that is what here the two important terms that is what n and n not and t is the time t is the time and lambda is the decay constant of integration sorry decay constant of disintegration constant decay constant of disintegration okay right next one ma the same thing whatever we have here that is n is equal to n naught into e to the power of minus lambda t you can write in terms of mass how can we write capital m is equal to capital m naught into e to the power of minus lambda t e to the power of minus lambda t where n is the number of atoms remain undecayed after time small t and n not is the number of atoms present initially n not is the number of atoms present initially that is at t is equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 m is the mass of radioactive nuclei at time small t capital m is the mass of radioactive nuclei at time small t but what is m not see here m not is the mass of radioactive nuclei at time t is equal to 0 uh, you please compare ma you please compare these two equations just we replaced n with mass that is capital m but whatever the meanings i mean whatever the terminology we have for n not and n the same is also applicable for m not and m but in case of m it is a mass in case of n there are number of atoms number of atoms rest of the procedure is same just n is replaced with m and n not is replaced with m not so remaining is same right here 
you know if we get the difference between n naught and n if we get the difference between n naught and n that is what n naught minus n so you can call it as n naught minus n even not a difference but uh, if you take that n naught minus n it will give us number of disintegrated nucleus in time small t n naught minus n is equal to number of disintegrated nucleus in time small t next n naught minus n is the number of disintegrated nucleus in time small t next what is dn by dt because here we use no dn by what is dn by dt rate of decay rate of decay what is lambda decay constant decay constant of disintegration decay constant of disintegration sometimes you can also call it as disintegration constant or radioactivity constant or rutherford's sodis constant or the probability of decay per unit time of a nucleus right so there are many different names for lambda so that you can see here one is decay constant of integration otherwise radioactivity constant otherwise rutherford's sodis constant or the probability of decay per unit time of a nucleus the probability of decay per unit time of a nucleus okay which is dn by dt which is dn by dt okay right next after completion of this so till now we discussed loss of radioactive disintegration so what is that law at any instant at any instant the rate of decay of radioactive atoms is proportional to the number of atoms present at that instant so what i am saying is at any instant the rate of decay of radioactive atoms is proportional to the number of atoms present at that instant this is what the law of radioactive disintegration for that we have given a mathematical form for that we have given a mathematical form that is dn by dt is directly proportional to n if you remove the proportional symbol we are getting minus lambda into n afterwards we proved that n is equal to n not into e to the power of minus lambda t so it is also mathematical lemma so then it is what in terms of number of atoms at time t is equal to 0 at certain time t after certain time t here also the same thing but in terms of mass this is what uh, at time t is equal to 0 but this is what uh, after certain time small t right this and all i discussed to you the terminology now next activity so what is activity it is defined as the rate of disintegration it is defined as the rate of disintegration or count rate in the bracket or count rate of the substance it is defined as the rate of disintegration or count rate of the substance of the substance that is what here you can say that is what you can say here ma number of atoms number of atoms any material decaying per second decaying per second so activity means as simple as such it is defined as the rate of disintegration of the substance rate of disintegration of the substance that we can also call it as count rate okay and you can also imagine and you can also understand the number of atoms of any material decaying per second number of atoms number of atoms decaying number of atoms of any material decaying per second is simply said to be activity okay right that is what here a is equal to dn by dt a is equal to dn by dt lambda into n is equal to lambda into n not into e to the power of minus lambda t lambda into n not into e to the power of minus lambda t so here lambda lambda you can get cancel and finally it will be 
activity after time t activity after time t that is what uh, dn by dt that is dn by dt next uh, units of activity units of activity so here two different units ma uh, totally three different units but uh, last two giving that is what uh, disintegrations per second and the first one is also in disintegration second but the number will be different suppose for example one disit one disintegration per second means it is equal to one backward 10 to the power of 6 disintegrations per second means it is rutherford next uh, 3.7 into 10 to the power of 10 disintegrations per second means curie so three different units while solving the numericals these units are very important for us because the problem may be given in Rutherford or Curie or Becquerel, right? So these three persons are the scientists, ma, a valuable scientist in our, you know, who is Rutherford? He found the presence of nucleus in an auto and the Becquerel and Curie, yesterday I told you in our previous class, in our previous class I told you the role of Curie and Becquerel also put uh, his hard work in this area of radioactivity. Right. So, you keep in mind these three units. One Becquerel is equal to one disintegration per second. One Rutherford is equal to 10 to the power of six disintegrations per second. One Curie is equal to 3.7 into 10 to the power of 10. 3.7 into 10 to the power of 10 disintegrations per second. Next, half-life. So, this is very important for us. Neat point of view. Definitely you can expect one question from this area regarding autumn and nuclear chapter, half-life. First you try to understand what is half-life. Time interval in which the mass of a radioactive substance or the number of its atom, the number of its atom reduces to half of life of the substance, reduces to half of life of the substance. So, I will repeat once again the definition, you please try to understand. Time interval in which mass of radioactive substance or the number of its atom reduces to half, reduces to half. So, that is what uh, half of life of the substance or half life of the substance. So, as simple as such, half life is nothing but the time taken to become half of the mass of a substance but there is a logic you can take either mass or number of atoms for example there is a radioactive substance thousand number of atoms are there thousand number of atoms are there you know how much time it will take to become 500 atoms how much time it will take to become 500 atoms that is what you can call it as half life otherwise in other aspect if you take mass for example there is a, a 500 grams of radioactive material or radioactive substance you know how much time it takes to become 250 grams that is what we are calling it as half life next if n is equal to n naught by 2 if n is equal to n naught by 2 then t is equal to t of so from the definition hence we know this relation n is equal to n naught into e to the power of minus lambda t you just write down the value of n here that is what n naught by 2 is equal to n naught into e to the power of minus lambda into t of because the time is half life now right next n naught n naught will get cancelled mathematically you can write it as log 2 to the base e by lambda is equal to 0 0.693 0 0.6931 divided by lambda next so this is what half life and here you can see you can see the graph first uh, there are number of atoms n naught and how much time it takes to become half which is what half life and then in that how much time it takes to become half that is what you know n naught by 4 is half of the n naught by 2 
Similarly, you can go for next n naught by 8. Then you can go for n naught by 16. Like that it goes on. So, whatever it may be the point of uh, how many number of odd terms present there that is not matter. But how much time it takes to become half of that? To become half of that. Okay. That is important for us. Next. Mean or average life. Next point. After completion of half life. Next point is mean or average life. That is what we are indicating by using the notation tau. Okay. Tau is a Greek symbol. See here. The time for which a radioactive material remains active. The time for which a radioactive material remains active is defined as is defined as mean life of that material the time for which a radioactive material remains active is defined as mean life of that material but this is also called as average life of the material so as simple as such to remember the time for which a radioactive material remains active remains active right next see here ma there are only some point it is also defined as it is also defined as the sum of lives of all atoms divided by the total number of atoms it is also defined as the sum of lives of all atoms divided by the total number of atoms so mathematically we are writing small r is equal to small r is equal to sum of the lives of all atoms divided by total number of atoms total number of atoms that is equal to 1 by lambda 1 by lambda so i used to tell many times the notations may vary from one book to another book but the important point what we keep in mind is concept or definition right when definition comes that is what definition when the statement comes that is what statement for example what is law of conservation of energy otherwise when the concept came what is the concept so what is the concept what is the definition what is the statement that is important for us so the notations if you want you can you can change for example if you take p so p we are using for momentum p we are using for power p we are using for that is what pressure so what is correct that's why notation changes from book to book ma? that is not matter but uh, concept is we have to keep in mind first uh, definition okay either definition or concept or statement first uh, seeing the information which is obviously available in english then understand after completion of that we have to memorize from our understanding point of view right not from others understanding point of view first we have to understand and then in this class whatever we discussed law of radioactive disintegration otherwise calculating or finding or determining activity and half life and mean or average life all these areas so four areas are here but all are linked to one another if you see separately four areas right from these four areas you can expect one question formulas also very simple what are the formulas we had in this class one is n is equal to n naught into e to the power of minus lambda t another one is just by calculating half life the same formula just we are using by using the same formula we are calculating half life after completion of that we can calculate mean or average life mean or average life okay right